Wow. You are now watching Farming with Duffy Ag. Day one actually staying in San Juan. Mass are very forced upon. Same with negative tests and everything else. So we are gonna go get some waffles. Look at that view. Staying in the gallery in Old San Juan. Interesting place. It's very, very old. Sun's so bright. But yeah. So we're gonna go adventure. Oh, we need a golf go cart. Golf cart. Had some breakfast. Now we're just out wandering the streets of Puerto Rico. They got an iHeart PR sign. That's <laughs> last last time we came through here there was two cruise ships now there's just one. Oh wait no there's two over there those are big ones over there Quite a little sentry port. So they built the wall to avoid to keep pirates out. It's a hell of a wall. So that gate was built in 1635. They figure there was some form in uh the 1540s. So this is a national park. Drink plenty of water. No rollerblading, no skateboarding, no fishing, no fires. Yeah, no pets. We need a golf cart. I know, we screwed up. It doesn't say no golf carts though. <laughs> US Coast Guard out there, partying it up. So the Coast Guard is based, they do have a station here. That was around the corner. I saw all the ships and everything else that they got. a good day living the best life island kitty <laughs> the wall began began around 1630 but was not completed for till 1790 wow and they didn't have loaders they had nothing they had wagons and ox ox and pulleys three miles long and completed an encircle old san juan that's wild. Imagine working on the same project for, what is that, 120 years? Like your grandfather worked on it and your kids finally got to see it finished. So now we're getting up to the top. Entrance.
which is like a whole nother party up here. Philip the Handsome, hell of a last name. That's the Burgundy, Burgundy Cross. Burgundy. Burgundy Cross coming with the Puerto Rico, the US. So we are in the fort now. Pretty homey in here. Wow. Look at that. That's wild. So we were way down over there. So this is all that existed on San Juan at the time. So as you see, this is the fort and there's a little bit of stuff in the village. And then there's nothing else, so. Which is wild. And now the road goes off and goes into what they call San Juan. This is technically old San Juan, but that was 1598. That's old. That's pretty cool. So that shows you what the actual fort. So we're up in, up in here right now. And then we walked around the outside came up so as the spanish-american war took on as you see the boats were changed that was the end of an empire it says so this is between 1836 and 1898 showing some history of it this is when america took over here well the u.s took it over and as you see i showed you the previous one in 15 something so in 1898, there was quite a bit more construction. Still nothing going this way. But you gotta think, it was 1898. Quite a while ago. So they switched out the guns, the firepower. In 1943, quite a bit more going on. But they used it as a strategic place during World War II. This is the Panama Canal. Um, they changed out gun tower, or towers, guns, made it very modernized. Don't fall down. It's like a three-star hotel, they said. So up here is the top. We're down. 
and it even goes further down while well, the axe is poured out but uh yeah pretty nice place they got a place for a hammock swing i think you think that's a hammock swing that's what they were doing So this is the original tower. <laughs> and then that will go all the way down to the bottom. So this is the beginning. Oldest part of the giant fort dates back to 1539. So it used to look like this, and then they fortified it in with the walls. Yeah, in 1898. Huh. We are in the second kitchen that we have seen today so far. It's featuring a gun. We got some rocks. I'm gonna do some cooking. Yep. I hope you're hungry for nothing. That's what we're serving. They said in the previous one they only get three pounds. How many pounds do they get in this one? Green crops don't do well. Grain, Grain, which I could see why. So, yeah, previously that was earlier in it, and they basically said your ration came out of your pay, and your pay wasn't much to begin with, and you were still paid more than a local. But adding assortment of local vegetables and spices to boil the meat and stew uh, could be created. Hmm. Sancho, a stew pop still popular in Puerto Rico, is eaten in many Spanish-speaking nations and territories. Bread was an important part of the ration in the 1700s, but was difficult to come by in the Caribbean because grain crops do poorly in Puerto Rican tropical climates. Which, yeah, we went past Sangenta there. We think it was Sangenta fields and whatnot, but they were doing corn. And, well, they're growing corn right now. They have corn that looks like it's almost ready to combine. Pretty sure it's for research. Yeah, that's pretty neat. So we walked away from over there, up and around, all the way around here, over to here. I really would have figured some bunk beds, but hell, that's a lot of comfort. Look at that. No bunk beds though. What? This looks great. Look at that. <laughs> yep, full tour. Self-guided. We did it. That was a pretty good tour guide. It's a big building. So that's the very west side of San Juan. As you see, here comes the city. Coconut. And cocoa. With rum. Decent. Well, that's gonna do it for San Juan. We are out of here, headed to the airport. So, appreciate you guys watching along. Like and subscribing through all this. And uh, I guess it's back to actual work. So no more vacation time. See you guys on the next one. Have a good one.